there's something fishy going on in Victoria's waterways. Native fish are being lost from our rivers and creeks down irrigation channels. To stop this, irrigation diversion screens are being trialled between the Gunbower Creek and Kahuna Channel. Fish screens. World-class technology, an Australian first, made right here in Victoria. Fish screens on irrigation channel diversions are a key part of the North Central Catchment Management Authority's Native Fish Recovery Plan, which is making a big difference to the health of our fish and our waterways. The North Central Catchment Management Authority, together with the Victorian Environmental Water Holder and Kahuna Engineering Company, AWMA, are working to make sure our waterways are healthy for now and for the future. For all the people, animals and plants that need them to thrive, for the community, the environment, irrigation, fishing and fish. Making sure water works for everyone and building on the long-term benefits of water for the environment delivered in this system each year. The problem is, since early European occupation, native fish populations have decreased by 90% across the Murray-Darling Basin. 90%. In 1800, there were 22 native fish species in the Gunbower and Lower Loddon. Now, only 13 are left, and of these, six are listed as threatened. Irrigation channels present a real danger to many of our fish species. Fish eggs and larvae go with the flow and drift into channels, and larger fish swim into them. Here, they are exposed to a number of threats. Low water flow in the non-irrigation season, little in-stream habitat for food and protection, more predators and the risk of damage or death from irrigation pumps. Most importantly, there is no passage for these fish to return to creeks and rivers. They are lost from the breeding population forever. A recent study in Gunbower Creek found that 20% of tagged golden perch found their way into an irrigation channel, with none returning to the creek. On top of that, 5,580 fish larvae drift into the Kahuna Channel every day during the peak larval drift season. With less food and less habitat, these larvae will have little chance of survival. The iconic Murray Cod is particularly vulnerable to getting lost in irrigation channels. Something needs to change. That change is fish screens. A small change for a big result. At Kahuna, we have installed four screens between Gunbower Creek and Kahuna Channel. These act as giant tea strainers, allowing water to pass into the channel, but preventing fish, larvae and eggs from passing through. An ingenious design. A floating log boom in front of the screens diverts the bulk of plants, eggs and drifting larvae away from the screen surface. The screens are designed so drifting eggs, larvae and small fish are not sucked into them and to make sure that there is a reliable flow of water for irrigators. Each screen is self-cleaning twice a day, with motorised rotating brushes preventing plants and other debris from building up on the screens. And because we're screening out drifting vegetation, it also means that pumps in the channel are blocked less often. A win-win. The benefits are immense. For the environment, for water supply, for local jobs, for recreational anglers, for irrigators, for fish. Because all this means more fish where there should be. And less where they shouldn't. It's a key piece in the puzzle to improve our river health and native fish populations. For now and generations to come.